What's up, everybody? It's your boy Quizzy Man. I'm back. Hey, man, with another video, dog. Got my daughter here. She was running around just acting crazy, upset. So, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna watch a video today. We're doing Mr. Mackey's Best Moments South Park, but we're doing it from a different channel than we normally do it from. Um, the channel that we normally do it from is South Park World. Let's see how this one is, okay? Um, I'm gonna see if this one is pretty cool um, or, you know, if it's not cool, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But we're gonna check it out together. Maybe this is a channel that we could add to our reactions that we do, all right? I feel like I'm losing my voice or something. I've been drinking my water, y'all, so I feel good, man. So look, do me a favor, hit the like button, man. Let's get started. Uh, I want to try and help you confront your problem, okay? I don't have a problem. Well, it, it's my understanding that you, uh, you, you have an acute case of fecophilia. What's that? Well, a, a fecophiliac is somebody who's obsessed with Mookie Stinks, Kyle. Mookie Stinks? Now, I also understand that you're Jewish, is that right, Kyle? Well, not on purpose. So this must be a pretty hard time of year for you, being Christmas and all. Do the other kids make fun of you? Well, sometimes. And that must make you mad. Well, sure. Mad enough to kill Kyle? Oh, what? <laughs> no, dude. No, oh, that's good. As your counselor, okay. I want you to feel like you can tell me anything, okay? Being the new kid can be tough, but I'm your friend, okay? Everybody hates me. Well, uh, what do you suppose? Oh, that was the child from the devil or something like that. That was the devil's child or something. Who's that is? Because I'm the son of the devil? Uh-huh. That's a good start. Why else? Because I burn them and kill them? Well, yeah, maybe that's it. What, what, what you need to do, uh, Damien, is is to be overly nice. See, no, no matter how mean the other kids are to you, just don't retaliate. You, you be passive, okay? That's what I taught <laughs> the little British boy, Pip, and, and just look at how much the other children like him now. I bet I could spit the most on him. Ugh. I bet I can spit in his hair. Ugh. Nice try. A little higher and you've got it. But but it was an honest error of judgment, cut. That is so nasty. Uh, 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 drinking, babe. That's messed up, bro. That, I remember that when he got fired, bro. That's fucked up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you boys staying out of trouble? Yes. Okay, I, I'm just going to go over here for a while. Our okay. minds <laughs> are one. Okay. Our thoughts are one. Okay. This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Please, nurse, for a woman with a dead fetus on your head, you're not being very open-minded. Now, that is facts. I remember when he first said that shit, and I was like, come on, bro. You got literally something that grew off the side of your head, dog. You just need to chill, bro. You really do. I am tired of seeing you in my office, young man. You get sent here every day, Craig. I know. Why can't you behave? I don't know. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, I tell you what, young man, look, you're going to be held back a grade if you don't look. Did you just flip me off? <laughs> yes, you did. You just flipped me the bird. Now, see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't shape up, okay, and get your head straight, there, you just flipped me off again. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. And until you stop flipping people off, you can just go back to the waiting room. Okay. Next. <laughs> well, That's well, up. well, if it isn't Stan, Kyle, Kenny, and Eric. Hi, hey, Craig. Hey, don't flip me off, you son of a bitch. Hi, boy. <laughs> Look, you, Have you boys been sure to pass gas regularly so you don't spontaneously combust? We know how to fart, Mr. Mackey. Well, let me show you just to be sure. Okay. Mm, come on. Be good, man. Jesus Christ. Uh. I had a steak wrapped with bacon last night. <laughs> I think you pulled mud. So you boys understand you have to do that regularly. He said, I, he said, I think you pulled mud. That's so nasty. I just now caught on to that. Okay. <laughs> hey, okay, just go away. <laughs> he thinks if I don't molest him, it means I don't love him. Well, now, uh, what's he supposed to think, Mr. Garrison? I mean, look at all the media, all the magazine ads and television ads talking about sexual molestation. Okay. He that was when Mr. Garrison's dad, did, he, they found out that he didn't molest him. He, Mr. Garrison got upset because his dad wouldn't molest him. He sees all that and assumes that you didn't molest him because of some flaw in his looks or personality. I didn't do it because it's wrong. I right. know, I know, but I'm afraid this problem has run very deep through Mr. Garrison's mental state. I'm worried that if you don't do something, well, it could kill him. Hold on a second. Are you actually suggesting that I have sex with my 41-year-old son? There comes a time in every father's uh. life when he must ask himself, how far will I go to save What's my son's life? 
Well, I won't have sex with them. Well, I've said all I can say. Right. I know it's difficult, but family is about compromises. What? Don't lose your son over this, Mr. Garrison. Don't lose your son. <laughs> That is so nasty, bro. Uh, young man, if you don't want to be held back a grade, I suggest you start cooperating, okay? Timmy! Well, that does it. I'm suspending you, Timmy, until you can learn to respect your elders. Uh, hold on just a second there, Principal Victoria. I think I may know what the problem is. Yeah. Timmy. Yes, of course. What? I think maybe Timmy is suffering from something called Attention Deficit Disorder, or ADD. It's very common in kids his age. What's crazy is they straight said that I have ADHD. I hope I didn't give it to my kids though. You know what I'm saying? They said that I had it. Now I've seen a few things that might suggest that I could possibly have a hint or a, a swiver or a sliver of it maybe. but. It don't stop you from doing anything that you need to do for real, for real. It just make you unfocused. And then at the same time, it make you hyper-focused. It's weird. Ms. Cartman, I've been very bad. Oh. You have been bad, Mr. Mackey, so you're going to have to drink from this glass. Uh. Oh, yeah, that makes me hot. Good. Oh, man. Wow. What? Now, this is the male anatomy. Uh. Mm -hmm. Here we see the testes and the scrotum. Stop that, okay? The next person that laughs is going to get a referral. Okay. Now, in order to have intercourse, okay, the man takes his penis and he, uh, <laughs> let's see, the, the man takes his penis and he, <laughs> hmm. Dude, haven't you ever had intercourse, Mr. Mackey? Well, sure I have. It's just, I was about 19 at the time. It's been about 21 years. Damn, boy. Okay. That man, that's no wonder your head so damn big, boy. Your shit about to pop. Let's see, uh, I'm pretty sure I took, yeah, I took the penis, and I, what the hell did I do with that damn thing? <laughs> well, who can tell me what year the first moon landing took place? Uh, how about you, Clad? No helping. Okay, I'm not really sure having all the parents here is a good idea, okay? Well, maybe things would be better if we could trust people like the Starches. Us, uh, your family's always been the shifty-eyed ones. Oh, yeah? Right. Don't touch my sandwich. Oh, this is too much to take. <laughs> Mom, Dad, could you please leave me alone? <laughs> we just want to make sure nobody hurts you, Junior. Okay. okay. <laughs> Mr. Mackey is gay. <laughs> okay, kids, that's not funny. Okay, this box is supposed to be used for serious questions about about serious issues. Okay, let's, let's stop the tomfoolery. Okay, let's look at the real one here. Dear Mr. Mackey, you are gay. <laughs> uh, all right, that's enough, kids. Let's quiet down and try to be mature. Okay. Bro, they here fourth graders, man. Mr. Mackey, sometimes my parents hit me, and uh. you were gay. <laughs> But why would you keep on reading it, bro? Damn, is there not one serious question in here? Mr. Mackey is gay. Mr. Mackey is gay. Okay, here. <clears throat> I am a boy at South Park Elementary. Sometimes when I'm sitting in class, my penis becomes hard for no reason. That's butters. It has to be butters. It has to be. What should I do? <laughs> all right, kid, all right, kid, that's enough. <laughs> oh. Right now, right now it is. Okay, okay. Don't worry, Jim. Okay. Oh, it's Jimmy, my bad, y'all. Right, let's pick someone else. Uh, Eric, why don't you come up here? Hey, that's bullcrap. How come Jimmy didn't have to do it? Well, because uh, Jimmy's pitching a tent right now. I'm hollering. Shut up. Excuse me. Can we get back to the issue, please? You all don't seem to understand how serious this is. Now, who made Dookie in the urinal? Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, you think it's funny, huh? Okay, okay. You're going to think it's real funny when the police get here. Look, whatever you believe, the fact of the matter is somebody dropped a duke in the school urinal, and there's still no explanation for that. Mr. Mackey, there are more important things going on here. More important? You aren't the one who had to walk into the boys' bathroom Okay, after having to wake up early, you know, there's no, no coffee in the teacher's lounge, and then you walk into the bathroom just to find a big duke laying there in the urinal. Like it's laughing at you. He's right. 
The turd could have been put in there to cover up 9-11. Oh, Ooh, my I'm God. I'm saying they're related. You've got a whole school here, Clyde, okay? you got over 300 people that need to use the boys' room. And you decide you're going to be a comedian, okay? You pinch one off in the urinal. Okay. And even laying there for everyone to have to look at. <laughs> okay, okay, you think it's funny, <laughs> but nobody else does. Hey, on some real talk, I would see why Mr. Mackey be mad, bro, because, like, you straight like a, a urinal, so somebody straight sit there, put their butt up to a urinal, uh, ur urinal, and 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 took a big old a big old monster crap in that mug. I'm like, ugh, that's nasty, bro. That's nasty, cause you know they had to run straight to the stall right afterwards, bro, because you gotta wipe. If you you know the people, the people that take a crap, the people that take a crap and then pull their pants back up and then leave. Oh my. God. God, y'all are nasty. I'm like, bro, you don't think of wiping? No wipes? Oh, God. They got to walk in that bathroom and see your rancid dude propped up against the back of the urinal like a brown rag doll. <laughs> <laughs> when you do get in the urinal, it's bad, okay? How would you feel if somebody came into your home, okay? Pulled down their pants and laid a big mud monkey right on your mom's <laughs> face. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's real funny. Mr. Mackey, is there anything maybe you want to talk about? Oh, hell no. Like, like what? Well, like, you've got an old milk carton here from a month ago that's like... Don't you touch that! That's not something to throw away! If you throw that away, I will rape you in the mouth, okay? <laughs> Bro, this man just said, if you throw that away, I will rape you in the mouth. Are you serious? You said that to a fourth grader. Jesus Christ, bro. That should have, you, you should have got suspended for that. I will rape you in your <laughs> mouth, okay? How am I supposed to do a play, okay? Teaching students about the importance of dental hygiene without tooth decay. We have two more days of tech, and then previews start on Monday. What am I supposed to do, Kyle? <laughs> you tell me. We went off on him. Couldn't you, you know, just get rid of the part of tooth decay? Getting rid of tooth decay is what I'm trying to fucking do! Uh-huh. He's your brother, Kyle Broblowski, okay? How are you going to fix this? What the... I don't know why the volume went down so far, though. Fuck, what's that? I'm just doing the lights. The audience is supposed to feel scared of tooth decay, Kyle, okay? If tooth decay has no believability, then toothbrush and dental floss have nothing to play against. It's all integrated and smart linked. This is a great idea. Oh, that was Let's that was so board. dumb. Message board. That smart link was so dumb because everybody everybody had a problem with that smart link. Uh, I, I swear. I, I know that schools be trying to like integrate things and become the tech of the future, school of the future. But some things they just need to stick to doing like First, before y'all start putting a whole bunch of stuff in the schools, how about y'all start paying y'all teachers more? How about y'all start making kids actually want to come there and learn? How about y'all start doing that first before y'all want to put a little shit in the bathroom and you can listen and then it'll tell you your mood and shit. You took a, you took a shit and it took 4.5 seconds for you to wipe. No. Message board. Here you can easily write messages to each other or to the faculty, okay? For instance, here we go. Here's a message from Kyle's little brother, Ike Profilowski. Okay, little Ike says, my brother is a homo. <laughs> Ike made a little drawing of his brother, too. Drew a nice picture with a <laughs> nice bird on a nice cow's forehead. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> wow, it's bro. Nice crane, nice whooping. That's not a crane, it's a dick and bow. <laughs> Don't hello us, pet. This system that you're responsible for now isn't working out, so what the hell are you going to do about mm. it? Oh. Well, I'm just sort of getting acclimated to the situation and- uh... Getting acclimated? Do you know how much money we wasted on this thing? How about you take some damn responsibility? Get the hell out of here, Pat! You're fired! Get out! Damn. He well, went off. How the hell are we gonna clean up Pat's mess? I guess, I don't know, I guess we got no choice, okay? We're just gonna need to upgrade to the IntelliLink Gold Package. Oh no! No, it's a $10,000 upgrade, but it should clean up all of Pat's mistakes. Mr. Mackey, let's be clear. IntelliLink was your idea. Oh. You should just admit it was a bad one and stop being so defensive. Well, it's good to be a little defensive around you, Miles. Okay, let's let's not forget that your wife died of an accident what? while you were drinking. 
on a hike. Okay. Hey, now listen here. No, no, you listen to me. Hey, no. <laughs> he said, no, you listen to me. No, bro. I'm sorry. If I was that gym teacher and he said, let's not forget your wife died on an accident, I swear to God I would have beat him down. I swear to you. Antenna Link is a great idea, and we just need the goddamn gold package. <laughs> we are doubling down. <laughs> That's the gold package. Okay, there we go. Your students can buy school lunches now, but they won't be able to get grades. No, they have to be able to get grades. Well, what you probably want to do is upgrade to IntelliLink Platinum. No, there's no more upgrading, okay? <laughs> I just want this to work. What exactly do you mean by work? I just want students to be able to make appointments to see the counselor, be able to see the school nurse in the easiest, most streamlined fashion. Oh, you want the Centurion package. That's where we take all the IntelliLink panels and we rip them off the walls and we burn them. Then we wipe all the computers and IntelliLink software and you never deal with us again. Huh. All right, upgrade me to the Centurion package. Right away. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Wow, that's a shame, bro. It was that bad, bro. I'm telling you because you overcomplicate things. Like some things just don't need to be computerized. Like if the if the nurse needed something, like yeah, she might need a computer because she might need to track some stuff on there. But like when it comes to like kids and people's files and you want to make an appointment to see the counselor, like bro, you gotta just get up and go either before class starts. They need to, you know, y'all need to give kids a grace period, like during lunch, like where maybe like a two or three minute grace period where they can go and they can do things like that before lunch starts. You know what I'm saying? Like trying to scramble and do that stuff from your phone and all that. No, that's, that's stupid. I can't take it. Oh, uh, hi, Scott. Nobody ever pays attention to me. Nobody cares. I just want to end it all. Scott, uh, come on. We don't do that. About this. Don't you do don't that. You don't want to quit Twitter. Why not? Everyone would be happier if I did. <laughs> be happier. Everyone. Well, what about your parents, huh? How do you think they'd feel if you quit Twitter? I don't think they'd even notice. Oh my God, that is so sad, bro. Fuck Twitter.